Hello everybody, it's today's vlog. And guess who today's vlog's featuring? Me! Alright, we're here. You know where we are? We're at Jimmy's. <laughs> Jimmy John's, that is. Jimmy Ricky John's. <laughs> Jimmy Ricky John's. <laughs> I have been craving Jimmy Ricky John's for quite a while. And, and I haven't had it because I've been on keto. But now I'm off. And we got to talk about that, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. because I had a little scare that scared me, like a little health scare. So I came off of it, but we, we need to get into that at some point. We're already 30 seconds in, and I haven't even said five words. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I opened it up. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so you don't need to talk here. Okay. You, you just need to be there so, so you, people, there's a familiar face. You're, right? you're taking <laughs> over the vlog today? I, I am taking the vlog over. All right. I need a break. You do? Yeah. So uh, let me take primary on this. Okay. You take secondary. Okay. Actually, you ride in the trunk. Okay. You're all the way in the back. All right. Let's do this thing. All right. <laughs> all right, let's go. It's not Jimmy Ricky Johns. Jimmy Johns. Just go along with it. Jimmy Ricky Johns? Yes. Okay. Of course you got a cookie. Knew it. Told you I was craving something. <laughs> it was the cookie. Yep. Too, Thank you. This is as non-keto as you can get. But it tastes good. <laughs> and he didn't get just any cookie. It's the triple chocolate chunk. Yeah, buddy. I'll do. We should go skate around New York City. <laughs> yeah. Weaving in and out of traffic. Is that what you really want to do? Well, what I really want to do is go for a run because I feel guilty now. I already went for my run today. I feel really guilty. Yeah? Like I made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. I made a keto mistake. You didn't make a keto mistake because you're not on keto. Well, I still feel bad because I'm supposed to be eating better. You let me get a cookie. Well, no, I didn't. You snuck that in, and then I came around and saw that you had already ordered it. So don't blame that on me. And it's getting really hot in this car. I just turned off the air conditioner for like two seconds. So why don't we go to the park or something and chill out under a tree, and we can talk to him about your keto mistake. The big one. Ooh, that's a big one. Look at him. So Moku was on the keto diet for a while and he's off of it now and there's a reason why you're off of it. You want to tell everybody why you're off of it? Yeah, so I mean... I'm not, to well I am totally off of it, but I'm still doing sort of a better diet. So I'm eating a little bit better. I was on keto for about a month and a half. I think it was a month and a half, wasn't it? was longer it? than that. I think you did it for like three months. Maybe three months. Saw fantastic results, lost weight, all of that stuff. And the things that I was eating and consuming were awesome. Bacon, burgers, I mean who doesn't like that? I mean, minus the bun. But, uh, so, so once a year, I have a, a health checkup. So they do blood work, they check my, uh, you know, sugar levels, they check my uh, cholesterol levels. And last year, in 2017, when I had my checkup, everything was great, stellar, right where it needed to be. This year, I had been on keto for about three months, and I had my blood work done and my checkup done, and this time the cholesterol came back a little high so from what I understand there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol well the bad cholesterol is the one that came back uh, not a little high it was actually a lot of high so I felt that moving from one year to the next it shouldn't have been such a huge drastic change in the negative cholesterol levels so I can only attribute that to the keto diet and the things that I was eating all of the eggs that I were eating I was eating uh, all of really the greasy foods I was eating with the bacon and the uh, and the uh, ground beef and all of that so that kind of scared me a little bit so 
I scaled back the keto and I kind of started doing sort of a modified thing of, of <laughs> eating bad and not eating bad, I guess. And today was one of the bad days, but I want to go back and I want to have my blood drawn again here probably in the next two weeks to kind of see now that I'm off of keto if things have kind of gone back to normal. Um, if they have, then I'll continue on the keto my, because my plan was never to stay on keto. It was just sort of to lose, lose the weight to get back to where I was in the past, which was around 200 pounds. 196, 200 pounds, that range. And where are you at now? Right now I'm at uh, 206. So I got really close with keto and I put, since I since stopping keto, I put on a little bit more weight, um, just a couple of pounds, but I was pretty close to my goal. And I, I don't know, we're pretty close. Let's see, let's see what happens. This past Saturday, I did not get a text from you. Every Saturday morning, every Saturday morning for the last few weeks, it has been a routine at around 7.30 in the morning, I get a text from Mo Cool saying, down one pound, down two pounds, I'm up a half a pound, whatever it is. And this past week, nothing. It stayed the same from last week. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's why there was no text. Okay, fair enough. It stayed enough. the same. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, thanks for sharing it, your story. Yeah. I, thanks for listening. I, I feel better now that I got it off my chest and I am going to get back on track. But I do want to do the blood draw and I want to see kind of where my cholesterol is because if it isn't back in line, then I'm going to be getting a little bit more concerned. Yeah, you're going to but, compare it a little bit. But, but, but I will say this. I have a feeling that it will be back on track. And if it is, then not only am I healthier, I'm also happier when I'm off of keto. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Because I get to eat what I want. I get it. I don't know. All right. Okay, so... Oh, hang on a second. What? We shouldn't wrap this thing up yet. Okay. What do I you, feel you like... got something else to say? I don't know. There's a party going on over there. There is a party going over there, I'm but wondering... we're not invited. We weren't invited. Maybe we should just crash it. <laughs> you smell the barbecue right now. That's what it is. I right? know. I know. It's really good. It's that rhino grill. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. It's good to be on your vlog again. Yeah. I'm glad to have you anytime. All right. Boom. What, what was that? What? I didn't do it right? You no, know, because you got to tell them we'll see you again next time, right? Oh, I thought you just... Oh, let me... No, you don't just smack it. You do say something. Yeah. There's something you put in there. Okay, yeah, look. Close it out right. This is Mo Cool Mondays, okay? There's going to be more coming, at least for vloggers. But until then, we'll see you later. Have a great week. I promise that will never happen again. That little spot that you saw right there, that was a little embarrassing. Yeah, I don't like take twos. No? No. Why? I just don't. <laughs> Gotta get it right the first time. And that's it? And that's like a 101 like amateur mistake. You, I gotta, know. you gotta always clean your lens. What can I do? Always clean the lens. Always clean the lens. Like you even got a little bit right there. Okay, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. You want to you want to see again and see if you got it? Did you get it all? It looks like it. Hang on. There we go. All now right. they can see us. Now we we're oh. there. Okay, good stuff. Boy, boy, I'm worried about you, Jimmy. Yeah. Ugh, I'll slipping. get it right. I'll get it right. So <clears throat>